Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. If you're new to the page, you already know. Follow that prompter and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and come join the family as we learn and earn. All right, there's a lot of meat on this bone we got to unpack. Please stay until the end. You will learn something that will help you to earn money. All right, so a lot of you didn't see this yesterday, but it was at the end. Save the date. Save the date. Listen, we're going to, I'm doing something called Money and Music. We have some of the top musicians in the world. These musicians play for some of the top artists in the world. I'm going to be sharing with you who they are. And then I have other guests we're going to pour into you for one day. Save the date, October 12th from 10 to 2 p.m. That's a Saturday, the second Saturday in October. I will be sharing more details actually tomorrow and there's already other guests that's going to attend. As you can see, it's going to be in the Chicagoland area. Listen, this is the one you want to be at. Uh, I'm going to make it ridiculously cheap and affordable for everyone. So I don't want you to just come yourself. I want you to bring people with you. Okay. All right. So let's go right to it. Stock market today, Dow falls, NASDAQ gains after picking up monthly core inflation, right? That was half of the roller coaster today. The other half was the election, right? The market was down before uh, CPI came out, but there was a roller coaster, right? Now, I want to tell you guys that crypto started to fall. It trades 24 hours. It started to fall when? It started to fall right after the election. Okay, this is gonna be one of those videos where we're only going to talk about politics as it pertains to our finances or to the stock market, okay? So, uh, I mentioned on yesterday's video, we're gonna talk, they were gonna mention the chips. They were light on chips, meaning they didn't talk about it much, uh, and that was good. Um, actually, NVIDIA is up because the CEO uh, was speaking today. And uh, that's a whole nother video. And because of what he had to say, NVIDIA was up today. I haven't looked at it recently, but it is up because of that. But the overall stock market and crypto last night did not like what the election is telling you. Now, let's talk about how that affects our money. If he wins, the stock market will reward us sooner. I'm not going to say immediately. Let me take immediately off the, the shelf sooner. But if she wins, the stock market will come down and come back because the stock market, these are the facts, have performed well under both parties. It has. Take your feelings out. Look at the data. It has. Now, um, I'm just going to say, look, let's look at the NASDAQ. As we can see, the NASDAQ when CPI came out an hour before the market, we saw this sell off, right? Let me put that up. We saw the roller coaster it went all the way down. So the market sold off, you know, boom. And then what? From the bottom, then it ran up, right? It's trying to decipher all of this information. 3%, the NASDAQ at the time of filming this, about an hour before closing bell. I have to talk about this because these are the stock that are affected by the politics. DJT did not like his performance last night. It plunged, okay? Why did it plunge? It's a mean stock, good people. Remember, this has nothing to do with feelings, right? Remember, I just told you, if he wins, the stock market rewards us, us sooner. And I have a lot of money in the stock market, okay? I'm just looking at the facts. There is a lockout period that is going to end. Remember, I taught you guys about SPACs and that is going to end. For those of you that are holding long with this stock, I'm, I've told you over and over, this is news driven. This is a news driven stock. If he wins, it runs up. Uh, the assassination attempt, it ran up and then what happened? The next day it popped up and it fell all the way back down. Did not, he did not perform well and it is not rewarding and not liking that. Crypto, 
as we can see, the last hour is red, the day is red, I'm gonna get back to stock, and the last week is still green. Sorry about that, good people, I'm just talking. We're still above 57 on Bitcoin, look at that. So we're green for the week, but for the day, we are red. Now let me say this, let me say this. There was a report that came out that said that if she wins, Bitcoin could come back down to 40 by the end of this year. This is not Larry. This is what this report said. And I think it's, it's, it's biased. But if he wins, they say that Bitcoin could go to 80 by the end of this year. Not next year, but Bitcoin could go above 80K this year if he wins. Now, I was at the Bitcoin conference. He came, he spoke and he was pro Bitcoin, right? And so I'm just telling you the facts and you make a decision based on what you think. I know I'm hitting you with a lot. Now, when I say crypto and I say, I show you Bitcoin, that means all crypto because it doesn't matter what crypto you're holding. If crypto, if Bitcoin goes down to 40, whatever you're holding is going down to 40. But if Bitcoin goes up to above 80, all of your altcoins are going to dance and your meme coins are going to go insane. All right. So I'm just giving you the facts. So look at this. This is just here we go. This is the 11th. I got it on the 15th. This is the 11th. We had a swing today. Look at that. Look at that swing. Was that 4%, 5% swing in a day? Look at that. So uh, it went all the way down to 55, right? You see that? That was the 11th, which is today, all right? All the way down to 55, back up to 57. Why? It did not like what it saw last night. This was before, uh, this actually, it started to, as you can see, it started to tank when? Last night. Today it was the 11th. It started to tank last night right after the debate. Okay. And then we had CPI, right? Consumer price index. Now I was going to play that for you, but you could find that for yourself, right? But this, I do want to play. There was one chance, a small chance that this data might favor a 50 basis point rate increase. It did not. If it was substantially lower, substantially le uh, below expectations, there was a chance it might favor 50. It does not. So what happened is you've had an increase in the probability of a 25 from 71 to 85 percent. And I expect with the PPI tomorrow <clears throat> that comes in around expectations, it'll lock in at 25 for next week. Thank you, uh, Steve. Tiffany, what was your reaction and take on all this? Yeah, um, so I agree. I, I think this is probably, um, this is a 25 basis point rate cut in September. It takes away some of the urgency uh, that the markets were discussing around a 50. Um, I think ultimately, though, the Fed probably had made up his mind. I don't think that the labor market report that we got uh, la a few weeks ago was weak enough for them to go. It wasn't great, um, but it wasn't weak enough for them to go 50. I think more likely what happens in September is they announce 25, but they make it very clear that they're going to do a sequence of rate cuts um, because relative to their own monetary policy rules, they look a little bit behind a curve. So they can, um, there's a range of possible outcomes here where, where it's appropriate for them to be cutting. So I think that's really the message that they're going to send. So it really was a good report. And this is like the fourth consecutive good report. You know, it's just taking the market time to decipher all of this information like it did the, when you put this what uh, right behind the debate, then the market just took a little time, as you could see. The market on every major indice, the S&P, NASDAQ, the Dow, and the Russell, it had to take time to decipher this and then boom, right back up. Um, and so this is what I was saying. Now, I believe we're going to have a, a bigger dip like this. And I don't believe that the low of the uh, stock market or crypto is baked in yet. I believe that we have more turmoil, more volatility coming this month um, because there's a lot going on. Now we got PPI tomorrow. Um, we'll see how that goes. I know 
that a lot of people have their emotions in this. And if you have your emotions and even this political thing as it pertains to your money, I'm telling you to remove your emotions because emotions will get you wrecked. All right, good people. Make sure you check out all the links below. Make sure you check them out. We have the class stock of you for stocks and crypto. We have a save the date. All right. That's not a link below, but I want you to save the date. I will have a link for you tomorrow on that. And now I want to show you, I left this for the end, Moo Moo, everything you need to know about this exciting new September promotion from Moo Moo. Okay. So make sure you do that. Now here's Moo Moo. Love you guys. Live, love, laugh and learn. Check out this exciting promo from Moo Moo. In this September, new users sign up using my referral link. Meet the deposit requirements can get you up to 30 free stock. Whole shares, not fractional, but whole shares. While the regular new user of Moomoo only get up to 15 free stock. That's double the reward, double. Now here's how it works. Sign up using my link, complete the deposit actions, deposit a thousand and keep an average asset balance of a thousand for 60 days. Unlock your 30 free stock. On top of that, new users can enjoy 8.1 APY for the first three months on balances up to $20,000 and 5.1% afterwards when you activate the coupon. What's more, Moomoo offers low trading fees. You can trade U.S. stocks, ETFs, and options with zero commissions, no minimum deposit required, no account maintenance fees, also zero platform fees and zero contract fees for equity options and ETF options. Other fees may apply. For more information, visit moomoo.com slash US pricing. You also get access to many pro tools as well, such as option price calculator, real-time options chain, options, unusual activity, etc. If you trade options, don't miss out.